This is kind of like a an idea. Maybe we just copycat. What if what if what if rank two copycat? Yeah? What if rank two copycat? Let's do it. We'll try this for a game and then maybe we copycat. Should be fun. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see the best of things. Uh, Don fan. Shadow Don fan. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Into Sableye. All right. Well, I think I can handle the Shadow Don fan with the other Pokemon. Sableye, I don't have a great matchup outside of this. So we're just going to... We're going to play to our strengths, and our strengths are, I know that we win this on the swap-in. I know that we win this on the swap-in. Or should win it on the swap-in. Okay. We're fine. Ah, a Steelix for our opponent as well. Fun. you love to see it. Also, that's a that'll absolutely clap. So a farm here is pretty good for our opponent as it obviously opens the door to them just like earthquaking something. But I'm just going to I'm going to live with that possibility. Do it. Nope, there's a swipe. Cheers, brother. No, buddy. Thanks for hanging out, friends. I'm not I'm not shielding this. I'm just coming in to eat the energy, right? That's literally the whole point of this. And if they go to Don Fan, then we just come in with Sableye, and we should be in great shape. Earth Power. Probably Body Slam Earth Power, right? Shielded Body Slam, which I don't love. Oh, I'm one short on the uh, second foul play, too. That's not great. We're fine. We're fine. No issue. No issue. Okay, some issue. We have to run Don Fan <laughs> Steelix and uh sableye <laughs> that's our that's our issue uh okay do i even have these pokemon i don't think i have a shadow don fan i have a a counter don fan steel okay so it's the same team it was a mirror except don fan lead versus venusaur that was the only difference uh okay Ooh. Yeah, the Astonish buff isn't a buff to D. It, it turns out was not good. Help. Help. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess we're going to find out if the Sky Attack buff or debuff is actually something we can we could take advantage of. Because this fight's probably close-ish, right? Ah, they're already shielding. Maybe they thought I had a rock move. I'm I'm not protecting this, by the way. There's just no no reason to use shields on my uh on my Don fan. Question is, do we need to switch? Because they're gonna farm me from here if I don't. So I think we go and try and uh a shield a shadow ball? I'll shield a shadow ball. Woof. Uh <laughs> Yeah, we got a problem, y'all. Now if they let an earthquake through, which they might, they do. Okay, that's good. 
This actually is probably okay-ish. Because, like... Sableye can do okay here. Play rough is not, not, not it, boss. I mean, they have to have Ice Beam, right? Nope, double play rough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just did the wrong thing. I just did the wrong thing. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, okay, well. That was a bunch of free energy for our opponent, which is kind of unfortunate. And we should have just come in and farm, and instead we, uh, we messed that up. We messed that up, I'll tell you what. Shit. I don't think we're in good shape here anymore. But what's their last Pokemon? Uh, uh, y'all. Does it have Shadow Ball? We, pro we probably lose to Shadow Ball on this thing. We're not going to lose the Psy Strike on it, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I wasn't expecting Shadow Mewtwo in the back. <laughs> it was like the perfect scenario for them in Shadow Mewtwo. And uh, yeah, up a shield, but Sableye, you know, being Sableye. GG's. Wow. Okay. Unexpected. So that was um, Knocked Owl, Azumarill, Shadow Mewtwo? <sighs> Dear Lord. Uh, well, I think... Here's the question. Uh, I, I have to run, I guess, one of those. All right, no, I can run the pump. That was the one they were running. Do I have... I do. But it only has... It only it doesn't have... <laughs> Oh my god. It doesn't have a uh, Psy Strike. It doesn't have Psy Strike. I'm not gonna give. Oh no, it can't get a good move. It literally can't get a good move for me because I'm not gonna ETM this thing. I'm not ETMing this Mewtwo. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, the Psychic. Psycho Cut Psychic. I can't power it up, right? Nope, 1525. So that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we try. <laughs> I guess we try with what we have. Uh, I... I hope somebody safe swaps a fighter. Or has a fighter in the back that we can psycho cut out. I could have gone confusion. And I actually think maybe for our needs, confusion would have just been better. Oh. A Metacham lead. Our whole team's real good against Metacham. And we're exceptionally good against this. Metacham got a nerf, or no, uh, Psychic got a nerf because of Metacham. That's actually why it got a nerf. We are, we are currently copycatting, yes. Pretty sure I don't need to shield at any point in this matchup. And I feel like our win condition is very much Mewtwo up a shield. Right? I mean, we do want switch advantage to an extent, but like, wow, they two shielded this. Okay. Uh, Well, that didn't work out for me. That actually didn't work the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. 
What's our plan? Y'all, we have a plan, and that plan is Shadow Mewtwo and a two shield advantage. That's the only way I think we win anything here, so. What I want to do is I want this sky attack to uh to put them low enough that I can farm with Mewtwo. Are we gonna try and farm with Mewtwo? <laughs> Oh my god, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Lol. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this? Our Azumarill was so good against their entire team. And here we are. Uh, I don't know that it makes sense to, hmm, doesn't make sense to shield, but we're going to do it anyway. I feel like if we had Psy Strike, I think we have a chance of winning this game, but we don't. Or Shadow Ball, or just any move that's not, uh, no, we came up one short there too. Ugh. Yeah, we needed we needed Psy Strike. I just wasn't gonna ETM a, a stupid uh I wasn't gonna ETM the stupid thing. <laughs> what a what a handicap that was. Ugh. GG's. Alright, alright, alright. Easy Easy Metacham Altaria Stunfisk team. Uh, that one. I wish we had saved our Azu. I wish we had saved our Azu, basically. Or just, or just shielded it, right? I should have protected it. Also, being on Ice Beam would have been really nice. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good lead for us. Um... You like that? Oh, it's Water Gun Lantern. Actually, this is uh, this is not gonna work out for us terribly well, is it? This is not gonna work out for us terribly well. What? Uh, what? What is happening? Why is my opponent thunder? Why would you have hydro pump on it? What is happening? Okay, well, uh, despite shielding a thunderbolt, uh, we'll go ahead and win that game and our opponent will concede. So... There's no such thing as the charge TM drought. There is no such thing. I have 188 of them. And obviously what's true for me is reality for the rest of the world too, so. I I don't even have a Heliowisk built, so I cannot unfortunately run that. I, I don't have one. So I have not tried it. I have not tried it. Oh, I had Doduo as well. Uh, So what do, we had, uh, that was what? Obstagoon and Lantern chat. What was the third? It was Obstagoon Lantern Water Gun Lantern specifically, which I do have. You think it's Quag? Why would it be Quag? I mean, these two don't really core up in any meaningful way, so I don't really know exactly what, uh, it has to be a fighting counter, right? Like a good fighting counter. You know what? We're doing uh we're doing Gligar. We're doing Gligar, because I like my Gligar. And it's a flyer. So you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. It counts. It counts. It's a flyer. Uh, Hitmon Lee. 
I hate, absolutely hate that we're going to have to switch out of this matchup. <laughs> I literally can't stay in that matchup. I'm pretty sure Obstagoon loses to Hitmonlee. <laughs> we found the one. We found the one thing it loses to. What do you got for me? Low sweep. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Oh my god, they actually have a grass type? Bullshit. We might actually be in trouble here. Although they're shielding surfs, so that's good. I, I'm not protecting this. There's no world where we get good value out of this. Dragon Claw. All right. All right. All right. All right. So far, they've got the hard counters. <laughs> hey. Amy with the eight months of prime. Let's go. Roll that beautiful butt footage for the resub. Thank you kindly. Appreciate it, friend. All right. So they're on Dragon Claw. I'm actually, I am going to bring the obstacle back in. I know that we're going to take a bunch of damage from uh, Fury Cutter and probably a Dragon Claw, but I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We're looking at a Gligar sweep. What I'd like to do is get enough energy to just hyper beam the, uh, the Hitmon as well. Nope, they didn't bring the Hitmon back. They brought in Vaporeon. So this is great for us because obviously... Vaporeon would be a really good Gligar counter. Sceptile did, in fact, get Breaking Swipe. Yes. So my opponent had all of the right matchups. Literally all of them. <laughs> but I just think they may have made a little misplay there at the end. Not bringing the Hitmonlee back in. Also, Hyper Beam. And then Choo Choo Choo. You know what the best part about this? And you know what? If you can kill me, do it. Go for it. No. This was game five of the set, so we don't have to copycat. <laughs> we don't have to. We don't have to run that team back. G G's. Wow. What a team. Honestly, we should have lost that game. Like, absolutely 100% should have lost that game. If they had simply brought the Hitmonlee back into the Obstagoon and left the, the, the Vaporeon with Water Gun in the back for our Gligar, I think we just lose. <laughs> 